We got into a lot of trouble because I forgot to toast the brioche when I was making smash burgers and every comment, every, like every second comment was from people going, why didn't you toast the buns? Why didn't you toast the buns? The buns are toasted, okay? So just calm down, just calm down. Hi, I'm Donald and welcome to the channel. I've been creating easy meals that make your life a little bit easier in the kitchen for over 10 years now. But this channel is all about a little slice of our family life and home cooking. I'll be showing you how to get the most out of your kitchen to next level your dishes for maximum flavor. So stick around, hit that subscribe button and let's get cooking. Okay, if there's one breakfast sandwich that we go to every single time, it is this very simple cherry tomato brioche sandwich with bacon and scrambled eggs. It's my go-to breakfast sandwich, and it's one that I always make for Sophie's birthday. So I thought I would share it with you. It's a very delicious one, and it's very easy as well. We've got Sophie and Noah and uh, Oliver reading stories over there. So there's a little bit of calm in the kitchen right now, so it gives me a moment to cook. So we've got bacon, we've got eggs, we've got a little bit of cheese, we've got some brioche buns, we have some cherry tomatoes. So first thing is we're gonna get our bacon on to cook. And I do this little method only since I've been in the States where I just put it all in the one roasting tray and stick it under the broiler or under a hot grill. They fry off beautifully and then you just drain them with a little bit of kitchen paper and you have perfect crisp bacon. So pop them straight in. Now, if you have a grill rack, you should probably put that on. I do not, this is how I'm doing it. This is what's happening in our kitchen. So stick this straight into the hot grill. We're gonna leave that to cook. Remember that it's there and give the hands a quick wash. I came up with this very simple breakfast sandwich because I, I'm a little bit obsessed with the fact that you can get uh, brioche burger buns here very easily. And when it comes to like a treat in the morning or for a treat of a breakfast sandwich, these little babies are absolutely beautiful and they are full of butter and richness and they are proper indulgence when it comes to a breakfast sandwich. The next thing we wanna do is create a very simple sort of tomato relish. It's like a kind of a homemade tomato ketchup that sits over the top of this with the scrambled eggs, the bacon and the brioche bun. So it's very easy to make. You literally bung an entire punnet of cherry tomatoes into a pan. We give it a little drizzle with some oil. To this, a little pinch of some salt and pepper. And I always love a bit of spice here. So I'm gonna add a little touch of chili flakes in here. You only need about a teaspoon or so. And what's gonna happen is this is just gonna melt down in the pan slowly but surely as we're making everything else. So pop it on the heat and leave those cherry tomatoes to cook out. In the meantime, we need to talk about scrambled eggs. Now these are not just regular scrambled eggs, these are next level scrambled eggs. So I'm gonna crack about four or five eggs in here. Now the next leveling of these scrambled eggs is that we fold through a little bit of cheese and butter at the end that make all the difference to these scrambled eggs and it makes it even more delicious to eat when it's sandwiched between a brioche bun. So about five eggs between two is probably just enough here. I'm just gonna leave these aside. We're gonna whisk them up with a little bit of sauce and pepper and I want to bring the heat to these scrambled eggs. I don't know if you know this but I have a company called Cali Cali which makes hot sauces and um, as you can see we have quite a collection of hot sauces here. Uh, we've got the Tijuana hot sauce, in fact that's the one I'm going to use. So uh, we're going to pop some of this Tijuana hot sauce. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous and adds the heat where you need it. So just about a teaspoon of the Cali Cali hot sauce going in and of course if you like the look of this hot sauce I will leave the details in the box below. It's been coming in infomercial. I don't know where that happened. Uh, give that a good whisk. And now that they are whisked beautifully, I'm gonna get rid of my whisk. We're gonna check on our bacon, which is looking pretty good. Check on our tomatoes, give them a little bit of a toss just to get the action and the heat going on them. And we're gonna get the heat on a small little saucepan. I highly recommend if you're making scrambled eggs that you use a non-stick saucepan. It makes your life easier and it will result in a better end result. So. Get the heat on them, sort of a medium heat we're looking for. To this we're going to add a little touch of butter. Ah, there it is. So take only a small bit because we're going to add some more at the end. And we're going to let that melt down. Now while this is melting down, it's important that we prepare any of the other ingredients we're going to add in here. Uh, if you wanted to add herbs into your scrambled eggs, by all means do that. Some thyme would be delicious, some uh, even basil would be gorgeous. But I'm going to keep it simple with this and we're just going to grate in some really good Irish cheese. That is more than enough. So I'm just gonna check on my tomatoes. They sound like they're sizzling away. They are my attempt at adding some sort of um, nutrients in here. I don't know if it's gonna bring it, but this is all about indulgence. Uh, tomatoes looking good. We've got the butter melting down. I'm gonna check on the bacon, which should be pretty much good right now. Yes. Oh yeah, we're looking perfect. So I'm just gonna flip these over. Not that they really need it. Um, in fact, they kind of, they cook off really quickly. So I just wanna get a bit of color on both sides. 
So just flip that over and then straight back into the oven just for a minute or two more. We have our butter sizzling off. So to this, we're gonna get straight in there with our scrambling of our eggs situation. Key utensil when you are scrambling eggs is to get in there with a spatula. Come around here so I can show you what we're gonna do. I always let it sit ever so slightly. See the edges here where it's starting to set? Don't get in there until you start seeing that happening because this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna basically fold those beautiful little strands of egg through and what you should be left with is a really beautiful and velvety scrambled egg rather than all those kind of bitty bits. So really beautiful velvety strands and like I said that only needs a minute or two for that bacon to come out. So get that straight out, grab up some kitchen paper, a plate and I'm just going to drain off our beautiful bacon. Looking good, back to our scrambled egg. Don't throw out the bacon fat, I'm going to show you what I do with that later. Look at this now, this is where there's beautiful strands of that scrambled egg. And really that's all I want to do with the scrambled eggs. They've taken on enough heat to cook out uh, while I crack on with the rest of this. So I'm going to put on the heat for our griddle pan for our brioche. Our eggs are looking good, our tomatoes are nearly there. I'm just going to help them along by squishing them down a tiny bit. Now before I forget, this is the perfect moment to add the butter and the cheese into our scrambled eggs. So follow me over, fo follow me over here. We've got that lovely cheese going straight in here. And we're also going to get in there with a little touch of butter. This is certainly not diet friendly, but it will give you the most gorgeous scrambled eggs. And if you start kind of folding that through, the heat will melt the butter, the heat will melt the cheese, and you'll get left with spectacular scrambled eggs. Okay, so let's leave that for a moment. We'll come back to it. Our tomatoes are looking pretty good right now. Oh, hey, Noah. Are you coming up to see what we're doing? Uh, Noah always, when the, when the food starts smelling good, this is when he pops into the kitchen. Um, we've got tomato. Oh, are you saying hi? Are you saying hi to Paul? Are you saying hi to Paul? Ah, oh, Paul! <laughs> okay, do you want to see what I'm making? Yeah. I'm making some tomatoes, yeah. some eggs, yeah. and we've got some bacon here as well. Will we show Paul, our cameraman, the special trick, what we do with the bacon fat? We don't throw away the bacon fat. I don't know if you have a fat jar in your house, but I have a fat jar in my house now. If I can just Paul. find... Where is the fat jar? Ha. Ah, you want a bit of bacon? Yeah. Okay, go bring that to mama. Show mama. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. Go, 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 go. Um, I know this sounds a bit mad, but I always keep the bacon fat. It is perfect for a whole host of different things. So at this point now, rather than throwing it down the drain, I uh, drain it out into my fat jar. But I keep bacon fat when I'm doing this, specifically because it makes one of the most beautiful fried rice dishes you will ever make. Uh, so it's a handy one to keep, and you just stick it straight back in the fridge. You don't even need to worry about cooling it. Let's talk about our brioche. All we're gonna do is take these brioche breads and stick them straight on a hot grill and just toast them until we get really nice griddle marks. Now I'm gonna transfer our tomatoes and let them cool ever so slightly into a bowl. So pop them out into a bowl and just let them cool. So I'm just gonna create a sort of an assembly job here. We've got the cheese, we've got the butter. I might add a little bit more cheese in as we go. We have our crisped bacon, which has kind of drained off the majority of the fat sitting there. Scrambled eggs are looking good. Turn off the heat. Normally now I would not let scrambled eggs sit, but if you've added the butter and the cheese, it kind of gives them a little bit of a longer lifeline. So this is looking good. Now it's just a case of getting our brioche nicely toasted. So these are pretty much where they need to be. I'll give them a look at this. So this is pretty much where we need our brioche sandwiches to be. I'm gonna pop them out and start building these lovely little sandwiches. I do think you do need to toast your brioche just so that you get a really nice crisp bottom to them. Um, we got into a lot of trouble because I forgot to toast the brioche when I was making smash burgers and every comment, every, like every second comment was from people going, why didn't you toast the buns? Why didn't you toast the buns? The buns are toasted, okay? So just calm down, just calm down. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of that tomato relish on the base here. And we're kind of gonna double up on this tomato situation. So just press that sort of tomato relish into the base of this. And then on top, a little bit of bacon. Look at that beautiful crispy bacon. And this is where I know I'm gonna be in the good books with my wife. This is one of her serious food cravings. During the pregnancy, this was requested quite a few times. So on top of the bacon, load it up with all that beautiful scrambled egg. To this, we're gonna add a little sprinkle of cheese. We've got a little sprinkle of cheese going on top and then just finish it off with one or two more of those beautiful tomatoes. So in the background, I can see Sophie's looking very excited about this. So we're gonna pop them down. Almost impossible to eat, but they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna dive into one of them and give it a go. Mm. Mm. 
It's the bacon that works really well with the tomatoes. And then you've got that cheesy scrambled egg. It's one that you're gonna need to eat with a bib so that it dribbles all down your front. But it is one of the most beautiful breakfast sandwiches that you'll ever try. I'm off to deliver these to my very hungry wife, but uh, until then, make sure you check out the recipe in the box below. We'll leave all the details there and you can check out the full recipe on my website. Make sure you leave us a comment letting us know, is this a breakfast sandwich you're gonna try? And until then, we will see you soon. Goodbye.